Welcome to live to place.com best e-learning portal for IIT JE NEET and foundation hello students in this video I will discuss how to calculate the relative loading vapor pressure of a solution by using Raoul's lab the problem says that the vapor pressure of pure waters at 298k is 23.8 mm hg this is the vapor pressure of pure solvent water it means that P naught H2O value is given and 50 gram of urea this is solute is added or dissolved in 850 gram of water here you can see that mass of solute and mass of solvent is given and question asked to calculate the vapor pressure of water for this solution it means that we are going to calculate the vapor pressure of solution containing waters ps value ps ps represents the vapor pressure of solution having water as a solvent and its relative lowering value well Raoul's law states that the relative lowering vapor pressure of solution to solvent to solvent is equal to mole fraction of solute then formula we get if p naught h2o is the vapor pressure of uh, water in pure state and ps is the vapor pressure of solution here we get p naught minus ps upon 2 vapor pressure of pure solvent is equal to mole fraction this is the relation we get by Raoul's law p naught is the vapor pressure of h2o in its pure state and ps is the vapor pressure of uh, solution and so x is mole fraction and in loading vapor pressure of solution we know that according to Raoul's law the vapor pressure of solu uh, solvent in pure state is always more than the vapor pressure of solution now we can so plug in the values here p naught value is given already and we have to calculate ps value ps value well it will give us the vapor pressure of solu uh, water in the solution x is mole fraction of uh, 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 solute then here you can see that mass of solute and solvent is given we can convert mass of these uh, uh, solute and solvent into moles by using molar mass well let's uh, plug in the values here we have moles of uh, a mole fraction is equal to moles of uh, urea here you have urea upon moles of urea plus moles of solvent that is h2o now we can do the conversion here moles of urea mass is given 50 gram 50 gram and the molar mass molar mass of urea is 60 gram per mole means one mole of urea has a 60 gram mass and it will give us the moles of uh, urea we can divide uh, 50 by 60 and by 60 and the value which we get that is 0 0.833 0 0.833 these are the moles of urea you can calculate this value by using periodic table of elements next is the mass of solvent that is 850 gram and so we also convert it the molar mass of water is one uh, mole has 18 gram it is quite common value and so 850 is divided by 18 850 is divided by 18 and the value which we get that is 47.22 47.22 and it is the moles of h2o and here we have moles of urea now we can plug in the values p naught value is given that is the vapor pressure of pure waters here we have 23.8 mmhg 23.8 minus ps vapor pressure of solution and here we have 23.8 is equal to according to moles fraction mole fraction moles of urea here we have moles of urea 0 0.833 upon moles of urea 0 0.833 and plus moles of water 47.22 now we can do the calculation here we have at the top 0 0.833 and we can say add bottom values 47.22 plus 0 0.833 and the value we get 
43 48.053 we can divide these values we get uh, same uh, expression on left side once we divide these values we divide the top value that is 0 0.833 and divided by the bottom value we get 0 0.01713 0.0173 this is the relative uh, uh, relative loading of vapor pressure of solution here we get 23.8 minus ps upon 23.8 this is the value we got that is relative loading vapor pressure here you can see that this uh, loading of vapor pressure to pure solvent to the vapor pressure of pure solvent is equal to mole fraction this is the value we got 0.0173 is the relative loading of vapor pressure because this setup that is p naught minus ps upon p naught represents the relative loading of vapor pressure of solution to to the vapor pressure of pure solvent that is equal to mole fraction now from this setup we can do the calculation and we can calculate ps value that will be the vapor pressure of water for the solution now we can do the cross multiplication here we have cross multiplication then we get 23.8 minus ps is equal to 23.8 multiplied by 0.0173 we can multiply these values 0.0 173 multiplied by 23.8 and the value which we get 0 0.41174 0 0.41174 on left side we have 23.8 minus ps and uh, now we can subtract uh, 23 minus 8 on both side 23 minus 8 minus 23 minus 8 uh, sorry 0 0.8 it is 0 0.8 it will cancel out here we get minus ps we can subtract these values minus 23.8 we get a negative value to minus 23 point we can round up these figures minus 23.39 minus 23.39 minus minus will cancel out and see here we get ps value ps value 23.39 23 and its unit is mmhg because p naught value is given in mm hg it is given in three significant figures you can also write this value in three significant figures the value you will get 23.4 mm hg this is the vapor pressure of water in solution means vapor pressure of uh, solution containing water as a solvent and containing solute as urea you can see that how i calculated the vapor pressure of water and uh, water in the uh, for the solution and uh, relative loading of vapor pressure of solution uh, by using raoul's law this is raoul's law thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetutelage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.